If your fake whipped cream is a total flop, you have come to the right place. My name is Cassie and today I'm going to tell you the three biggest mistakes that people make with faux whipped cream and how to fix them and then at the end I'm going to show you the proper way to make a fake whipped cream mug topper. So the first problem is that your fake whipped cream is too wet or too dry. So when your spackle's too dry, you're gonna get like a crackly look when you try to pipe it. And this right here is too dry. I'm gonna show you how to make it just right. I don't wanna change the consistency of this whole tub at one time. So I'm gonna put some into a container here. Now sometimes they'll come in the container just perfect and sometimes they're dry. So you have to just see, you know, it's gonna depend on the container you have. Like I can barely do anything with it just here with the spoon. So to thin this out a little bit, I just use a cup of water and I have a quarter teaspoon measuring spoon here. And I don't necessarily need to put the whole quarter teaspoon in. Um, I You could use a spray bottle, you could use a dropper, anything that you can use to just put like a little bit of water at a time into your spackling and then just mix it around and see what the consistency is. And then you can always add more if you need to. So see how this is starting to come together and look more like real whipped cream looks? That's what you want it to look like. So when you pick it up, it shouldn't be able to hold a peak like that, but you can still move it around. Now let's say that your spackling is too wet. So I'm gonna add some more water to this and get it to where it's too wet. So this is getting a little too goopy and it's not going to hold the shape. When I pipe it out, it's gonna just start like falling because it's so wet. So what you can do with this one is you can either add some more if you're, if you've just added too much water and you have drier spackle, you can add some more of that to it or you can add some joint compound. Joint compound you get in the hardware store and it's near like the drywall supplies and stuff. And this is what it looks like, just a white powder. So you can add some of that to thicken this back up. Now some people will add flour. I don't like to use any food items in my fake bakes at all. So I don't use flour for that. But if you wanted to, um, you could, or cornstarch. I know not everybody has joint compound on hand, but if you're a fake baker, I would recommend getting some. So now we've got it back to a good consistency here. The second mistake that I see that people make is that there's no structure to hold it up. And so it just completely sinks in and falls. If you're just piping your fake whipped cream onto a flat surface and then you find that it's like sinking and drooping and doesn't look anything like it did when you first put it on there, it's because you need more of a structure under there. A lot of times, if you do like frosting on a cupcake with the spackle, you have a dome um, for the cupcake to work with. So that's that gives kind of that structure. So if you're making a mug topper and you're just using like a flat something, a poster board or cardboard or whatever, then you need to add something to give it the shape. So the way that I do this is I use poster board and a styrofoam ball. So I find a styrofoam ball that will fit my mug um, pretty, it doesn't have to fit super tightly, but this, we're gonna put half of it into the mug and the other half is gonna stick up on top to give us the structure for our whipped cream. So I take my mug and I just trace it onto some poster board or you could use like a cereal box or some other kind of food box. 
Now when you cut it out, you'll want to cut inside a little bit because we don't want this to stick out out of the mug. You don't want to see the poster board sticking out. So you just want to have it sit right on the edge. So if any of it seems like it's going to hang over too much, you can just trim off a little bit. The way that I do this, this makes it so that you can use the same mug and just change out the topper. Like this will be a removable topper, not completely secured forever. And then I just need to cut my styrofoam ball in half with a knife. And then I'm gonna hot glue one side on the top of my poster board. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then see this part, the bottom one is what holds it so that it doesn't just fall right off of the mug. And the top one is what will give us something to work with for our whipped cream so that we can get that nice mound. The other thing I wanted to tell you as far as the structure part is you don't want to start putting like big heavy things just sitting in your whipped cream. So if you have like larger items you wanted to stick into your whipped cream, you can use toothpicks. So you can stick a toothpick into this however you want it to sit in there and then the styrofoam ball that's where that comes in handy again once you have your whipped cream on you can stick this down into the styrofoam and then that'll hold your heavier items up so that they're not weighing your whipped cream down the third mistake is that you just haven't refined your piping skills enough and you just need to practice now, if you are a beginner to using spackling as fake whipped cream, then you may just need to practice your piping skills more. And this is something that I just had to do. I had to play around with different piping tips and just practice. So the way that I practice is I usually just use a lid to my container, my mixing container or my spackle container. You could use a paper plate. And I just put the stuff on there and then see if I like how it comes out, take it back off. The other thing you can do is just use this as your practice because as long as you don't put a bunch of sprinkles or glitter or something like that that's gonna get mixed in with it, you can just wipe it off of here too. You won't get every speck off, but you can, you know, keep practicing on the same one until you get the look that you like. It's not set in stone as soon as you put it on there until you put sprinkles on it. Okay, so let's do some piping techniques. Do you think that the piping, um, practicing piping is the problem that you're having the most? I would recommend watching some cake decorating videos, some piping, uh, like cupcake piping videos, things like that, because those really helped me get my piping skills up to par. So just something to keep in mind. So I'm gonna start, you want to hold your piping bag at a 90 degree angle to whatever surface you want to pipe onto and then just squeeze with an even pressure. Now, the slower you go, the more roughly it's going to look, the faster you go, it's going to look more like ice cream. So now that it's all done, I'm just going to put it on top of my mug so I can finish decorating it. 
So the first thing I'm going to add is sprinkles. Um, I have sprinkles that I made with clay and I have a video that shows you all different kinds of sprinkles. These are just beads that I bought on Amazon and I thought these would be cute on here. So I think I'm going to sprinkle some of those. Now you'll want to do your sprinkles right away because the surface of this dries up pretty quickly. Also, if you wanted to add glitter, this would be the time to do that because again, the surface will dry and then it won't stick. So, And then I have a fake candy cane that I made and I actually have these in my, I have this tutorial in my Etsy shop. It's a bunch of Christmas candies that you can make. So I'm going to put this on, but I think I want to put my little cookie on first so I can see how I want to place everything. So I already have my toothpick in there. So I'm just going to stick it down in there. I think I'm going to cut some of this candy cane off because I want, I want it to just stick out, I think. And then I have these little candy beads that I got at Hobby Lobby last year. So I'm going to stick one of those in there too. And I have this little gingerbread mini ornament that I got from Hobby Lobby last year too. So I'm going to stick that right in the front there. But see, I've put all of this stuff on and it's not weighed down because I have that styrofoam ball under there. And then the heavier thing, I put the toothpick in. So anything that's like big, you can put a toothpick or a skewer if it's really big um, and just take the weight off of your fake whipped cream. I had so many of these same issues when I first started fake baking. And so I wanted to share with you how to fix these problems so, so you can have perfect fake whipped cream on your mug toppers or whatever else you want to put it on. So I hope that has helped you with your whipped cream skills. Thank you guys so much. I've had so much fun showing you how to make this cute little mug topper and I'll see you guys next time.